2012 was a fantastic year of sport. But it wasn't all about athletics, football, cricket and tennis. Many people enjoyed their sport just a little bit more extreme. And where better to start than the tough guy race? The gruelling endurance race pits an international field against a 10 mile long course that features daunting obstacles, freezing cold water, mud, flaming tyres and mental and physical exhaustion. This year's winner was 28 year old junior doctor Nut Haller, who put his blood, sweat and tears into the crazy race. But the award for the coldest race of all goes to the Winter Swimming World Championships that took place in the Baltic Sea in Latvia. Perhaps unsurprisingly, Russia came out on top in this one, winning a cool 30 medals. Back in the slightly warmer climate of England, the annual mascot Grand National took place. Forty-six mascots did their clubs proud, and it was more than just a bit of horseplay. Mr. Bumble of Barnet had obviously been a busy bee training for the event, and he won by a few furlongs. He even beat me to the best pun award. Mr. Bumble's buzzing. <laughs> there he goes. The rural English village of Billingshurst in West Sussex was the venue for the start of the 2012 lawnmower racing season, with the British Grand Prix held in May. Racers battled the mud and each other in this grassroots event, which was apparently thought up in a public house back in 1973. The selection process for China's national trampoline basketball team was launched in Beijing in May as the country aimed to promote the sport among its youth. This will surely lead to a generation of show-offs. Now for a sport a little more cheesy, but a little less easy on the eye perhaps. The idyllic setting of Cooper's Hill in the English countryside is transformed once a year by the 200-year-old eccentric sporting tradition of cheese rolling. Hundreds of crazy people run down this incredibly steep and bumpy hill trying to catch a wheel of cheese. The pictures speak for themselves. There is no need for me to make a cheesy joke here. <laughs> Meanwhile in Pakistan, the locals were enjoying the wonderful sport of oxen racing, an event which has been going on for more than 50 years. and racing remains popular in rural areas due to its thrilling and aggressive nature. Now from cattle Three, to two, wives, one, the 13th go. annual North American Wife Carrying Championship took off from the Sunday River at Newry in Maine in October. 50 teams had to navigate a 278 metre course, which included such obstacles as a one metre high log hurdle, a small pond called the Widowmaker, and a sand trap known as Sand Mountain. Villains Tiesto Mietanen and Christina Happenen won the event with a time of 52.58 seconds, the fourth time in a row they have won. Prizes included cash equal to five times Happenen's weight, plus her weight in beer. Not a bad day's work. It was very tough. 